Most actors would have probably loved a chance to score a role in Game of Thrones, but there was a time when the show wasn't such a sure thing. Whether it was due to grueling on-location filming, gripes with the pay, or sheer confusion over the story, these actors decided to steer clear of the Seven Kingdoms. Tudor star Tamsin Merchant was originally cast as Daenerys Targaryen for the show's original unaired pilot, but walked away from the reshoot for unknown reasons. The first version of the pilot was, according to showrunners Dan Weiss and David Benioff, a very bad episode of television, so bad that HBO reportedly almost scrapped the series altogether. A huge portion of the original pilot, which has never publicly been seen, ended up needing to be reshot, which probably has something to do with why Merchant didn't return to continue in the role. Whatever the reason for her departure, the reshoots worked out, and the whole world now recognizes Amelia Clark as the Mother of Dragons. You are my queen. Merchant wasn't the only actor to walk away from Game of Thrones after its disastrous pilot shoot. Actress Jennifer L. was also brought on as the original Caitlin Stark for the original series premiere, but she too walked away after the first take spelled trouble due to unavailability for the reshoots. Maybe she read the books first and got the hint that her character had kind of an expiration date. Jamie Campbell Bower is an actor you may know from Sweeney Todd, the Twilight series, and the seventh Harry Potter movie. He was originally cast in the Game of Thrones pilot in the small role of Night's Watchman Waymar Royce, but became unavailable once reshoots were scheduled. At the time, the actor was busy starring in the Starz series Camelot and readying for a lead role in the Mortal Instruments, so he was replaced by Rob Ostlier. Since the character only made it through the first five minutes of the series, it might not have made much of a difference for his career, but who knows what might have been. Either way, he's getting a second chance to find out. In January 2019, it was announced that Bauer was joining the cast of the untitled Game of Thrones prequel. Maybe his character will make it past the first episode this time. Given his lengthy history with period pieces, Scottish actor Brian Cox might seem like a good fit for one of the Seven Kingdoms, and somebody on the show must have agreed, but it didn't work out. Cox has admitted he was once offered a role in the series early on, but turned it down because the pay didn't seem high enough. He said in an interview with Vodzilla, "...stupidly, I turned it down in the early days because they didn't pay enough money. Now they have more money and I was silly. I was silly. It was silly because I'm a complete addict now." Cox admitted that he regrets missing out on his chance, especially since the show has since featured some of his old friends. He said in the interview, I don't know what I could play. I just watched my friend Ian McShane and I thought, ooh, Ian's in it. So I settled down to watch him. And I thought, Ian did that? And immediately I thought, God, they must have paid him well because I know Ian. While it's not quite known which Game of Thrones role Dominic West was originally courted for, many suspect the Affair star may have been asked to star as Mance Raider, the former Night's Watchman who became known as the King Beyond the Wall. Whatever the role was, West has said that he had to decline the part out of a desire to stay close to his family in London. West told Huffington Post in 2012, "...I was offered something on Game of Thrones and unfortunately, I hadn't seen it, but my nephew and his father said, gosh, Game of Thrones is the only great show on. And I felt terrible because I'd just turned them down. It was a lovely part, a good part. I'm going to regret it." Jesus, what the f did I do? X-Files star Gillian Anderson also had to say no thanks to a chance at Game of Thrones due to her obligations as a parent. She told Silas Magazine in 2013, "...whether it's Game of Thrones or Downton Abbey, my 18-year-old cannot believe I've turned down things she loves. But with a 4- and 6-year-old, I can't justify spending that kind of time away from home, unless I'm working with Martin Scorsese." While Anderson didn't share which role she'd been offered, many speculate that due to her famous red locks, she may have been a match for Melisandre the Red Witch or perhaps even Cersei Lannister. Game of Thrones fans will recognize Jonathan Pryce as the actor who portrayed the duplicitous High Sparrow in seasons 5 and 6, but he was asked to join the show long before that and turned it down. As he told BBC Radio 4, "...I'd said no to the very original series of Game of Thrones, and all I did was flip through and look at the names. Look on these strange names, strange dialogue, and I thought, oh, it's not for me." What changed his mind, he said, was the meat of the High Sparrow's personality and presence. He called him, quote, "...a great character, one who comes into the story after everyone else is well-established, but still carries immense power and presence. He also gets one heck of a death scene." Penny Dreadful actress Perdita Weeks was originally cast to star as Rosalind Frey, Ed Muir Tully's wife, but she backed out of the show to star in a now-defunct project called The Heretics. The series was all set to begin filming in Romania before plans to shoot in the country abruptly fell through. 
She told the Daily Mail in 2012, I gave up a role on Game of Thrones to take the part, and even rang the producers to beg for it back once I'd heard the news about Romania, but it was too late. The role was ultimately played by Alexandra Dowling, although Weeks might not have missed out on much, as the character has appeared in just one episode and was notably absent when her husband returned in season 6. Irish native Ray Stevenson was also given a chance to star in Game of Thrones in its earliest episodes, but has said that he turned it down because he would have preferred to have been with the show from the very beginning. He said in an interview with Movies.com, I was offered a role. I also saw them before they even started very early on. I would rather have been cast at the beginning. Of course, Stevenson is far from immune to stepping into a series past the midpoint. He joined Dexter in Season 7 and Black Sails in Season 3, for example. But the man must have had his reasons. Maybe he was still just frustrated at HBO for canceling Rome. A guy famous for starring in one ultraviolent cable TV show with a devoted following almost starred in another one. Charlie Hunnam, who played Sam Crow leader Jax Teller on FX's Sons of Anarchy, certainly has the beard to play a knight, warrior, or king. And he had the swordplay experience, too, taking the title role in King Arthur Legend of the Sword. While promoting that film in 2017, Hunnam told the Associated Press that while joining the cast of Game of Thrones interested him, he literally couldn't do it when he got the chance. Hunnam said, I would love to do a Game of Thrones cameo. They offered me a cameo on that show a little while ago, but I was shooting something else, so I wasn't able to do it. But maybe in the future, who knows? Hunnam didn't say what part he was offered, and now that the series is done, it's clear he never followed through. If the pilot goes to series, maybe he'll get a chance to hop onto the spinoff. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.